Oh, what it do, what it do, what it does, what it does. Welcome back to Rob React. So, we talking about Sneeko. Now, Sneeko, I didn't know who Sneeko was like five, six months ago. You know what I'm saying? But the best way I could describe Sneeko to somebody that don't know who the hell he is, is he's like the worst version of Andrew Tate. He a young cat that's like easily impressionable. You know what I'm saying? And his ideologies, uh, he's his ideology kind of is easily influenced. But forget what I'm talking about. Let's get straight into the video. Does this outfit look familiar? This is the same thing I wore last time I took you over my knee and spanked your bottom <laughs> with some discipline. And I'm happy to report that these are back in stock and a lot more at moistglobal.com. Last time I talked about you, I used you for a merchandise push as well, so might as well stick with tradition. I bet just seeing me in this attire again has just sent you on a full-blown winter soldier episode with your eyes. Bro, I don't even know who this guy is, bro, but apparently he about to come with some fire. Some fire. Uh, yeah. It's rolling into the back of your skull as you're experiencing post-traumatic stress disorder because the first video I made on you offended you to such a high degree that you have not stopped whining since. It's already been three months. Can you believe that? How time flies. You started shit with me by insulting me and my girlfriend out of nowhere. So naturally, I responded by making fun of you in return and showcasing the reasons why I don't respect you. But unfortunately, I failed to calculate. Hey, shout out to my man. I'm checking out his background. His background kind of lit. He got a YouTube plaque. Hey, we're going to put our YouTube plaque right here. Uh god slap i don't know what the hell that is like he got a cat but it's the pokemon cards in the back you know what i'm saying i, I know first off you could tell just by his demeanor that he got all the exclusives g fuel who the hell is g fuel hopefully he gets sponsored by him i hope so shout out to my mans though just how much of a sensitive fucking loser you are because <laughs> this hurt your feelings to such a high degree it's become like an armageddon in your brain Three months you have continued to melt down about this. <laughs> the day after I posted my response, he went on stream and had a huge unhinged tantrum and meltdown about the whole thing. And then he sent some of his viewers over. So I was joking with them saying like, oh, you guys must have just stopped the cuties watch party over there at Sneeko's stream, right? Welcome cucks, that kind of shit. And it got really <laughs> under his skin in a big way. So he started dancing around with a gun and threatening to come shoot me. So he kept saying, oh, you're in Tampa, right? I'll come see you. Waving his gun around and dancing. You wanna watch my clips? Watch my clips. Watch my clips. You wanna, wa oh, you want me to watch your clips? Watch my clips. <laughs> These are the only clips I'm watching, you were. Bro, you could tell he genuinely having fun. Genuinely. But it is still pretty corny, bro. Why are you dancing with a gun in your hand? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's America, bro. Everybody got guns, bro. Everybody got guns. So it's just like, bro, you dead. That's like equivalent to him dancing with like a bottle of ketchup. You know what I'm saying? I got ketchup. I got ketchup. Like, bro, we all got ketchup, bro. They didn't stop making ketchup when you bought your bottle of ketchup, right? I'm just saying. Now, the reason he keeps saying watch my clips while threatening me here is because during the stream, I couldn't watch him live because he just kept shouting slurs. So I said, watch my clips to see what I was saying about you. I had to communicate via Twitch clips. And I'm sorry to be that guy. This is like the grammar police of guns, but he's a fucking imbecile. You absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. They're mags, not clips. You absolute fucking dummy. What? The same way that this oh! is also a mag. <laughs> Oh, next. Hold up! <laughs> Boy, you better not try to get into it with no nerve with money. Not no nerve. With, first off, he pulled that pistol out. Like, bro, you just keep a pistol in your recording room? Like, bro, I don't got my pistol. No, I'm lacking. Hold on. Look how you just easily grabbed that. And I'm sorry to be that guy. This is like the grammar police of guns. But he's a fucking imbecile. You absolute buffoon. He keep it on deck. Hey, he following my my number one rule. Keep it on you. I don't well, even have, got I don't even got it on me. There is not clips. These are mags. They're mags, not clips. You absolute fucking dummy. <clears throat> the same way that this oh is my God. also, bro. What the hell is that? 
Boy, what the hell is that? He got the scope. He got the flashlight. Boy, hey, Sneak don't need to know who he messing with. A mag. They're all mags. Stop saying clips. You look fucking stupid here. Anyway, Dummy. sorry for the gun anatomy lesson. He was very upset, so he was threatening to come shoot me, beat me up, all of that, because I hurt his feelings, and it's been festering for quite some time now. <laughs> Three fucking months. You love to bitch about how everyone's canceling you. These soy boy NPC bots are all canceling you. It's all you do. You treat the teenagers in your Discord like they're your goddamn therapist. Just going in there to complain about the invisible boogeyman canceling you again, shaking your fist at the clouds. I also love that you treat this Discord server like it's your PR team, so you have them work on your... <laughs> ah, when I'm in a cuck competition and my opponent is Sneeko. So apparently, apparently, I, now I caught wind of this. This guy... Three months ago, must have made a video. Well, he made a video talking about Sneeko and how he's like, like to get cucked or like cucking. I, I don't know. That that's a little too freaky. I, I like the original, the original stuff. But apparently, Sneeko, he didn't watch his girl get knocked down by another dude while he was in the room and on the same bed. Little weird to me. Or responses on Twitter because you're not witty enough to come up with anything on your own. You have no ability to banter. You can't insult anyone. Anytime you're pushed, all you fall back on is one of three things. Soy boy, bot, or NPC. And that's it. You never deviate from this path. Which is ironic because you're like literally a sheep. You have three programmed responses. You're like the absolute worst character, side character in an MMO. It's pathetic. <laughs> what is but that? <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked. You love to be super public about how much you hate antidepressants and you shit on anyone who takes antidepressants. But with the way you talk in your Discord server, I'm pretty convinced that you're only two or three messages away from asking your community to source antidepressants for you under the table to help with all of this mental anguish you're going through. And I think that honestly be a good idea. It might help you. But I'm, 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 I'm putting the cart before the horse here. How did we... What? <laughs> he about to go. We only... Three, four minutes in. We get to this point. Well, I made that video about Sneeko, and I fully planned on that being the only time I ever talked about this asshole. I really did. All I wanted to do was highlight why I personally don't respect him. I know a lot of people criticize me for not tackling his points, and to that I say, bah humbug, this fucking goober didn't make any points. All he did was insult me and my girlfriend. He insulted me and my girlfriend because I made fun of one of his friend's blatantly fake stories. He resorted to childish name calling like, I'm ugly. And I don't go outside. That's not making any points. Like, what am I supposed to debunk, debunk there? No, actually, my mom thinks I'm handsome, and, and so does my girlfriend. So you're wrong. Factually wrong. There's nothing to debunk. The whole point of the video was highlighting why I don't respect him. I'll go ahead and briefly give you a previously on Dragon Ball Z lore recap to bring you up to speed on the points I was making for why I think he is a pathetic piece of shit, and his opinion holds no value in my eyes. It is because he publicly defends Cuties as one of his favorite movies. Cuties was a Netflix film that used real child actresses in sexual situations. Oh. So they sexualized real children. A fact that Sneeko himself acknowledges, but writes off as being okay because it's realistic because in the real world children get sexualized. I'll say it again, regardless of what the intention of the film was, they missed the mark because what ended up happening is they sexualized the child actresses. That is a problem. Full stop. Even if the message was supposed to be the opposite, they still ended up contributing to the very problem they were speaking out against. Cuties last night. Like who who referenced a movie like that? You know what I'm saying? Like I I first off never heard of the movie, but if anybody that's seen the movie, is it worth watching? Cause I never heard of that movie. And I probably wouldn't bring that movie up like to make a point in any type of film night and it was it was pretty good it's a pretty good movie i went in ready to hate like everybody else i, I saw the cover and it was i got clickbaited so did you you got clickbaited thing about cuties i didn't get clickbait i didn't even know a movie like this exists it's, it's not an unrealistic film like yes it shows children in a sexual way but this is not unusual now and the people who are really mad about this aren't gen z imagine claiming children in sexual positions is clickbait yikes <laughs> that's right <laughs> Boy, you can't beat no nerd with money, dog. You admit that the children were sexualized. That is bad. Okay? 
That means the movie failed in its mission. I don't know what you don't get about that. But regardless, I'm not here to just keep hammering home the same points. Uh, another thing that I talked about for a reason I don't respect him is because he battles with his own sexuality. He is very public about how he used to go to these swinger parties. I think he says four in total over the course of like two weeks where he watched his girlfriend get fucked by other men. He was telling the story of how he was literally in the bed watching his girl get fucked by a different man. Moaning intensely and... <laughs> Why is he talking like this? First off, I can't even fathom nothing like that. I can't even fathom nothing like that. First off, I got a rule. And that's one dick in the room. You know what I'm saying? It can only be one dick in the room. By the time a, a second dick come out, I'm in the wrong spot. You know what I'm saying? One dick per room. You dig what I'm saying? It, it was traumatizing. Yet he recommends that everyone should try it at some point for some reason. Because this was, imagine, see, imagine seeing the girl you love, like, get fucked. Get fucked. You love her? Yeah, I do. I, love, <laughs> I, love, I, love her. I was about to say I love this bitch. I'm like, no, let me not say that. I love my, my queen. Wifey, my queen. And Good you answer. allowed the love of your the life to get, to get fucked get by another man. What happened to the other dude? Why, why is that you? one alive? Man, why all these boys got their shoes off, man? Why, why they toes out? Is this like a requirement? My man's in the in, in the Indian position. I'm a little weird. I I ain't gonna judge him though. My boy ain't got no socks on. One of them to guess. Either, either Sneeko's the guess, which I'm under the impression because I can't see Sneeko having who that. That like Biggie. Who's that other dude in the background? Biggie Jay Z. I can't. That like that one actress. I can't think. Play Ant Man, not Ant Man. Um. I can't think of who that is, but I'm saying that to say somebody showed up, took their shoes and socks off. I'm just saying. I'm crazy. The first time, as soon as I saw like three pumps in, I just got up and walked out. I'm just like, I can't, I can't do that. Like feeling traumatic thoughts, like seeing her. Bro, can you even imagine that? Can you imagine your girl just getting, just getting the stick? Bro. Even if, bro, even if some weird way I'm on shrooms, alcohol, and a perk, and I said yes to something like that, and I was actually said in the room, bro, my girl better not make no face. She better not grunt. Oh, my God. I can't even fathom. She better say there straight face, but I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even, that's weird as hell, man with another person it's a lot it's a lot to, I th but i think it's something everybody should do just nah. to test no! I, no you know what so my point with this was no why is this the guy that's lecturing everyone on their relationships shitting on people's relationships when he himself is in one that makes him very upset and he can't come to terms with it now if he's open about being a cuck and happy and proud to be a cuck that's fine <laughs> but he's not it makes him mad every single time so why the fuck is this insecure guy the one that's the moral authority on healthy relationships all of a sudden? That was the point of me bringing up that clip. Now, that's that was basically the whole video. I summed it up real quick. All I pointed out is I don't respect his opinion because he defends a movie I consider to be child porn. I think any <laughs> film or any production that has real children being sexualized should be classified as child porn. That's how I view it. Maybe your definition is different, but that's how I personally view that kind of content. So him defending that was beyond reprehensible to me. And him being very public with his cuckoldry and how uh, scarring it has been, it should be a lesson, an example that he himself is not great when it comes to relationships and all these things. And I posted that and it made him extremely upset and he hasn't stopped fucking crying about it for three months. So fast forward to two days ago. There's I more. I was streaming a Moist Esports tournament, and I went up to go to the bathroom. I had to take a shit. It was a double flusher. So I was on the toilet for quite some time, <laughs> and I saw a Sneeko post that he's posted quite a few times now, and I thought, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not doing anything else right now on the porcelain throne. I'll play in the pig pen. So I did. For three months now, Sneeko's had this adorable little collage that he made that looks like it's straight out of a 16-year-old girl's diary with pictures of boys from her class that she doesn't like. All about people that have hurt his feelings. This is his wall of shame for people that have insulted him online. <laughs> Bro. 
This man's dialogue is hilarious. <laughs> What's even sadder about it is he purposely leaves out people that he's afraid of. So Turkey Tom, for example, made a whole video talking about Sneeko and how pathetic he is. And Sneeko tried to talk a big game to him, even challenged him to a debate, which Turkey Tom accepted with jubilation. He was ecstatic. And then Sneeko kept ducking him, ghosting him. So he leaves Turkey Tom off of this list because he's afraid to actually talk to him. And he also leaves off quite a few other people, but the most notable other one that is comical for the absence is Brandon Buckingham. Brandon Buckingham is an internet content creator that Sneeko lied about for a long time, and they had a lot of beef. And Brandon Buckingham actually challenged him to a fight. And Sneeko is very fearful of him. We'll get into that <laughs> in, we'll get into that more in depth in a moment, but I just need to set the stage <laughs> a little bit here with this collage. So after seeing this for the hundredth time in the last three months, I finally just said, Holy shit, you pathetic, sensitive, soy little worm. I made fun of you. What is a soy? <laughs> what is a soy? For watching your girlfriend get fucked by numerous other men and also insulted you for defending child porn. That's not cancellation. That's just spitting on you for being a pitiful, sad cuck. And this puppy really blew up on Twitter in a big way. Now, I will say it again. What I did, and what I am doing right now, is not canceling you, Sneeko. I am insulting you. I am making fun of you. Something that you were supposed to be a huge proponent of, right? Wasn't like one of your big things like bullying needs to be brought back. So now that I'm making fun of you, what, all of a sudden, now it's now it's off limits? Now it's canceling? <laughs> you will become the SJW. You bet not beef with a geek with money, man. News that you criticize so much. I don't know how you don't realize that. We continue. <laughs> he says, you know in your soul you would never say that to my face. To which I respond, you literally have a collage of people that hurt your feelings on the internet. You haven't stopped whining about me for months now, you goofy NPC. Even if you beat my ass in a fight, it doesn't change the truth. You're still a cuck who also defends child porn. <laughs> I think this is important to talk about, and I just talked about it recently. When you are getting your feelings hurt and your immediate response isn't to fire back with insults, jokes, whatever, it's to challenge someone to a fight, you've taken a huge L. You've shown that the person has got under your skin, and the only thing you can resort to is a caveman brain of, I'll beat you in a fight. Sneeko, you beating me in a fight doesn't unfuck your girlfriend from the numerous men that had sex with her in front of you. <laughs> Whether you beat me in a fight, your girl got smacked down. Damn. True. Do anything. Everything I've said still stands. Nothing changes. It doesn't even salvage your ego. All it is is a pathetic fucking attempt at attention. And I don't think you believe half the things you talk about. I really think Sneeko just panders as much as possible. He himself doesn't even stand by the things he talks about. I really don't think he has any beliefs of his own. He just echoes what he thinks is going to get him the biggest audience slash the most money. That's what I think. So this puffing out his chest of challenging me to a fight is clearly attention. That's what it feels like. Because you don't have the same energy for Brandon Buckingham. Brandon Buckingham is more than willing to fight you any day of the week. But with him, you don't want to do that. For some reason. Why? Do you not stand by your... Hey, he make, he make it a valid point. He make it a valid point. Like, if you one of them guys that just want to smoke, you got to be prepared for the smoke at any time. You can't just be prepared for the smoke when it's convenient for you. Hey. Your beliefs when it comes to Brandon Buckingham, he has said all the same things about you that I am saying about you. So why is he exempt? Hmm? Why don't you want to fight him? That's so weird. This is what you said about Brandon Buckingham and fighting him. And then finally, when Brandon Buckingham is down to meet Sneeko, he's there to box him. They're both similar sizes. Sneeko would now rather just sit at home and tell jokes behind his computer. I'd rather just, just I'd rather sit at home and yell at a camera, tell jokes than, you know, risk my manhood falling flat for Brandon, Brandon Buckingham, you know, if I lose the fight. So now it's suddenly cool to just stay at home and keep it all online. The full video here from Bro. Me People is roasting the hell out of Sneeko. Who is that guy? Mac is an absolute masterpiece on laying out every pathetic thing that Sneeko has ever done, said, or everything ever. So I highly recommend checking it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's a banger. So as you can <laughs> see, the people he's confident in fighting are ones that he feels confident he'd win against. I'm five foot six. I think he's six foot one. So the height advantage he feels very confident with. And he has every reason to. He would probably beat me in a fight. But like I said, that doesn't change anything. <laughs> Everything I've said is still true. You are a cuck, self-admitted, and you have defended cuties publicly, which by more than just me, by many, is considered child porn. You're pathetic. Beating me in a fight doesn't change any of those facts. I've also been super vocal about how I don't want to fight. 
Like, I, I'm not afraid to say, like, I don't want to get hit in the head, right? Like, I'm afraid of <laughs> taking headshots. It's probably a super normal fear to have. So I'm averse to going into a boxing match, especially one that's just a clout-driven spectacle like this. That'd be completely <laughs> fucking worthless. And I've been super open about that, which I'm sure you know since you keep saying that you've watched my content. So you probably know that I was never going to accept a fight in the first place. Especially since you're, like, significantly taller than me, right? Like, it does, it does, it wouldn't make any sense. And even though you would probably beat me in a fight, you're certainly not beating me in, like, an aesthetic physique competition, because goddamn, I blow your ass out of the water. Look at this fucking anime character <laughs> physique I'm rocking. <laughs> First off, my man's will probably give Sneeko the business. Meanwhile, you're over here with that Abercrombie and Fitch from 1998. <laughs> now, uh, in Sneeko... Sneeko got a bra on. That's wild. Goes credit. He did start going to the gym recently. Maybe I inspired him. And you know what? That's great. I'm glad I could have a positive impact on your life like that, Sneeko. Getting into the gym is a fantastic thing, and you're going to feel so much better. And I know you'll start seeing results soon as long as you keep at it. And then finally, our last exchange goes very similarly to the others. You're not special from the other 10 soy boys who say the same thing. If you got a problem, stop talking on the internet. Let's solve it. So I said, got your Discord still working on responses? Brother, I have no problem. You started it and I made fun of you in return. You're upset about publicly admitting to cuckoldry and get mad at me for bringing it up. You should be mad at yourself instead. Have some self-reflection. Which it's true. I don't have a problem. You literally started it, Sneeko. And you even asked your audience to let me know everything you said and send me your clips. You actually asked for a response. And then got super upset when my response was a little too mean to your feelings. How is that not the ultimate cuckoldry like even more so than your girl getting clapped by a thousand men how like how can you with a straight face still call other people bro that is like the ultimate like insult like bro your girl got smacked down what can you say to me what can he say to him well, soy boys i'm not kidding i really didn't want to keep talking about you but you won't stop talking and crying about me it's sad I understand you have a humiliation fetish, so hopefully this whole thing has helped you orgasm one more time from all of it. I, I, I don't think it's fun dunking on you, Sneeko. I don't. And I'm certainly not canceling you. But you keep doing this. So you forced my hand to make fun of you again. But anyway, that, that's about it. See ya. Hey, no lie, Sneeko just need to leave that man alone all the way through. He's not going to win in any type of way. Even if he do beat him in a fight, like he said, bro, you can't change the facts. With that being said, man, look, man, make sure y'all like, subscribe, drop a comment, and holla at your boy, man. I'm back at y'all in a little bit. Peace.